A 51-year-old Kentucky man is under arrest after he's been accused of kissing a five-year-old child on board a cruise ship. Yeah, you're not going to want to miss this one. Plus, a major cruise line here in the United States has removed all testing requirements and vaccine requirements for your next cruise. That means we're back to how cruising used to be pre-pandemic, and Royal Caribbean and celebrity cruisers will soon be able to get to know their crew members a little more personally. Let's roll the intro. Hey, hey, welcome to the Midships Channel. I'm your Captain Corey, and thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. Once again, welcome back to this beautiful studio. Still working out the kinks here. Hopefully everything looks good on your end. Let me know in the comments below. And why don't we get things started off today with this extremely serious story that's coming out from on board the Carnival Sunrise. This involves a 51-year-old Kentucky man inappropriately kissing a five-year-old cruise passenger in a public area on board the Carnival Sunrise last Saturday. Now, we have a statement from the victim's father who said that he saw 51-year-old Ernest Bishop Jr. kiss his five-year-old daughter on the mouth while on board Carnival Sunrise last Saturday. And that's according to an affidavit released by the Miami-Dade Police Department's Sex Crime Investigation Unit. So obviously, there's not a whole lot of updates yet on this story. Mr. Bishop still faces trial and he is considered innocent until proven guilty. Currently, he's free on a $7,500 bond after spending a little bit of time in jail. Now make sure you're subscribed to this channel here if you don't wanna miss the updates from this story here. I'm sure this one is gonna be one that a lot of people want to know the outcome of. And hopefully in this case, justice is served swiftly and very, very strictly. There is possibly one of the biggest cruise news stories we've told in a while coming out this morning from Norwegian Cruise Line. That's NCL for short. Beginning on October 24th, when my group cruise leaves, they will no longer have in place any pandemic requirements for vaccination or pre-cruise testing. Did you hear me? No testing for the unvaccinated at all. It's gonna be like a cruise pre-pandemic. Now there is one small caveat to this. There are still certain destinations that require testing. And if you are cruising to one of those destinations, yeah, it's going to be a little bit different like it has been. You will still have to test, but that's a case by case basis. And for the most part, if you want to cruise, Norwegian says we want to have you. And remember, historically, when we see one major cruise line remove something like masks or testing for vaccinated individuals, the other cruise lines tend to follow suit pretty quickly. I would imagine in the next handful of days, we're going to see the rest of the cruise lines come out and take a very similar posture to what Norwegian's doing here, removing all of the pandemic related protocols to get on your cruise. What do you think about this change? Let me know in the comments down below. Now that everybody is actually welcome to cruise again, even jumping through the hoop of pre-cruise testing, are you more likely to want to cruise with Norwegian now because of this or less likely? While we're on the subject of Carnival Cruise Line, you may have noticed if you've sailed recently that there's a certain prize, a very prized prize, as a matter of fact, that's been missing. I'm talking about the 24 karat gold ship on a sticks. Well, it's become such an issue that Carnival's brand ambassador, John Heald, has had to address it with the Carnival faithful. And John says that, yes, you're not wrong. You have seen less ships on a stick being given out lately, but Carnival's not doing away with them, despite the speculation online that it's a cost-cutting measure. No, John says that there's been a supply chain issue and that's caused the shortage of ships on a stick. Now, personally, I'm a talkative chap. I try to get to know a lot of crew members on cruise lines and several of them have informed me that they are indeed rationing these ships on a stick. But don't fear because by the end of the month, John Heald says, they're gonna be back to normal, giving out the ships on a stick. So if you're cruising with Carnival later this month, maybe on my group cruise, the 24th of this month, you might have a good chance at getting your hands on a ship on a stick. You wanna know about my group cruise? Well, 
It leaves on October 24th from Charleston, South Carolina. We're gonna be cruising five nights to Carnival's private island, Half Moon Key, as well as a stop with a really fun excursion. That's right, I am personally taking you along on an excursion and leading it in Nassau, Bahamas. If you'd like more information about how you can join the group, there are still spots available. There's a link to a Facebook group that's in the description below this video, and I'll pin one up here like usual. Check it out, the rates are great, and we'd love to have you on board. Two extremely popular cruise lines, Royal Caribbean and Celebrity, have officially done away with their mask requirement for their crew members on board their ships as of two days ago. So if you're cruising on either of these lines, you're likely to actually see smiles finally from crew members on board these ships. And I tell you, I can't wait to get on board the Celebrity Beyond next month have I let y'all know I'm cruising on the Beyond next month? I am on the October 13th sailing of Celebrity Beyond out of Fort Lauderdale. There you go, the official announcement. I don't think I have announced it yet, but there you have it. I'm cruising on Celebrity, and I can't wait to actually see the faces of crew members once again. It's been so long. This is such a welcome change. Hopefully, all of the other cruise lines start following suit. Now, Royal Caribbean Group didn't just do this willy-nilly. They didn't decide, hey, let's take the masks off. No, they actually have given this a trial run and tested things out to make sure this is a positive step forward. And it seems like, according to their trials, this is gonna work out for the better. MSC Cruise Line has announced some really cool itineraries over in the Red Sea for the upcoming winter season. This is gonna be on board the MSC Splendida. If you don't know, most of the hits on my YouTube channel come from people looking up MSC Cruise Line information, which is surprising to me because they're not exactly the largest cruise line in North America. And so what that tells me is there's just not enough information out there on the YouTubes about MSC. Again, I think price to performance, they are the value leader in cruising here in the United States. And if you want to see a really cool part of the world with two stops in Egypt, one of them being Cairo with 13 hours to go see the pyramids, you might want to check into a cruise on MSC Splendida in the upcoming few months. Might be worth your time. Might be worth my time. So if you made it this far into today's episode, thanks so much. Make sure you subscribe with the bell notification turned on. And like always, until next time, we'll see ya on the midships. I'm still kind of getting used to this new set. I've got finally the coffee table in place here. It's uh, it's one of those lift top doohickeys. I posted it on my Instagram story earlier today. So if you want to see a little bit more behind the scenes, uh, also found this golden pineapple at Goodwill the other day, but don't worry, it's not going upside down. I'll keep it straight up. And one more quick little housekeeping thing before we wrap up today. It's come to my attention that I don't do live streams, and I should, which means I need to get your advice on what is a good time to do them. I know there's a lot of other cruise content creators that are live streaming on Sunday evening, for example. Well, that's probably not gonna be a great time for me to live stream because you probably love cruising and you probably love people like Tony, who's doing a live stream or Nautical Nurse Nancy, who's doing her live stream after Tony. So let me know in the comments below, what is the best, the best time to do a midships weekly live stream? Yeah, things are gonna be changing around here. We'll see you tomorrow.